All right, you guys, this is Ross. I got probably one of the cooler videos that I want to do for you guys today that uh, maybe I've done in a while, to be honest. We have apples that are ripe. And this particular apple is called Hawaii, and uh, I think it's named Hawaii because it tastes kind of tropical. At least that's what I believe. Uh, I don't think this one was found or grown in Hawaii by any means, but this is... Um, a cross between, if I'm not mistaken, Gravenstein and I think maybe Yellow Delicious. I know, I know Gravenstein's definitely one of the parents and Gravenstein's one of the best tasting apples. Um, really highly regarded between so many hobbyists of apples out there as one of the better varieties. So you would imagine that the child of, of Gravenstein, Hawaii, would be pretty darn good or at least has the potential, right? And uh, that's what people have been kind of saying is that this is a very good piece of fruit and then it actually has a pineapple taste to it. I came out here the other day, today is September 15th, and I actually saw something was eaten on um, some of these apples. I had about eight apples. Two of them have fallen to the ground here. I already ate one. And these other two down here are kind of beginning to spoil and uh, you know the critters started to get at them. So I figured, wow, if they're falling off the tree, I guess they're ripe. Um, so I picked the remaining four that were on the tree. And I'm not kidding. Yesterday, I was driving to, um, to take my exam for the CPA. I had myself some snacks in the car, and especially for my test to keep, keep myself energized. And uh, I had one of these apples with me, and I could not believe actually how good it was. I'm shocked. Like... Hawaii really is an amazing piece of fruit. And you could definitely say that it tastes like pineapple. Look at these buttes, guys. Whoa. Look at how amazing these fruits look. And you know what? They're organic. Nothing was sprayed on them. They're homegrown. You really just can't get anything better than this. I've had them sitting in the fridge for the last day or two. Really impressive and beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful fruits. But I think because of all the spots, like, I don't know if they've naturally done this or this is part of the variety, but there are some really interesting spots all over the fruit. And that's typically not what people want in their apples, right? They want the shiny, perfect, one color, apple right like golden delicious is just straight yellow so it's a shame because this apple is so incredible that I could very easily see uh, you know this one being in a lot of home gardens but probably never in the store and that's really just the only way you're gonna get it so you got to grow it just more of the story here it's incredible oh Oh yeah, and you can see in there as well, the seeds are brown. Perfect, pretty much perfectly ripe. There's so much flavor in this apple, I'm shocked. Um, really sweet, really tropical. The texture is very crisp. I mean, it's fresh, you know? This, in my opinion, is the best tasting and textured apple that is yellow or green that I've ever had and it's not even close. So I'm gonna highly recommend you guys grow this. I'm gonna be honest. This is a great apple. So many people would love this. It's a pleasure to eat. I'm sure you can do other things with it cider, baking, whatever. There's a lot of information on this apple, so, you know, if you're really interested, don't even take my word for it. Think about the, uh, you know, look it up on the internet. Go to Orange Pippin. There's so many resources out there for 
these apples, you'll find all the information you want. I looked it up on Cummins, uh, Cummins Nursery in New York, which sells these trees, sells a lot of fruit trees. And I think they were saying that this one ripens in like the second week of October there. Or maybe it was the first week of October. So here, it's mid-September, we're getting our fruits, our apples, roughly three to four weeks earlier than that, which is pretty cool to know. Um, so yeah, this is a big winner. Highly recommend it. I mean, I haven't tried, unfortunately, many of these apples yet. Either the squirrels get them, something comes in here and decimates them. They're in a really shady spot. I mean, you could see how naked the trees look. A lot of the leaves are diseased and they have cedar apple rust. And this year even, a lot of them didn't even flower. I mean, they basically have sort of this biennial habit now, unfortunately. Probably being back here in this corner, it's very shady. In addition to maybe my pruning techniques, this uh, season wasn't that great. I pruned off a lot of the tips, so yeah. Trying to control the height a little bit, it just kind of backfired on me. Really what I should be doing is pruning them during the summer. Maybe now is a little bit too late, September 15th. This might be the very last day that I could do that, but I'm worried that if I prune off a lot of the tips now, I won't get a lot of flowers for next season. You know what? The spurs are, are preserved. The spurs are here, but the spurs, for whatever reason, either some of them did flower, but they just didn't, they didn't set their fruits. And it wasn't a pollination issue, I could tell you that. So very strange to see a lack of flowers and also just a lack of fruits, but this one produced. Out of all the fruits, out of all the trees, there's about 25 varieties here. This is Hawaii, you guys. Big recommendation. Also, I want to go to Hawaii. Who wants to go with me? Eat all those tropical fruits. All right, guys. We'll see you soon, all right? Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our other videos on the other fruits that we've done, not just the figs. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.